Hi, Carson Sampson here. Just want to take a minute to show you a couple of quick ways to make tint swatches in Illustrator CS6. I don't know that it's been abundantly clear how to do this in the past, so I stumbled upon this and I just want to share it. Here we have the letter C in a spot Pantone 180C. It's easy enough to make a tint of this swatch just by going to the color palette, grabbing the handle, moving it down to whatever you desire there, 50. Could also enter a value right here, now we're at 60, and then we create a new swatch. You'll see it's dropped down here underneath the parent swatch and it indicates that it's 60%. Well, that's fine. Now what do we do with something that's a CMYK value, such as this letter H, which is defined over here in the sample group as darkening sky? One trick might be to go over to the opacity in the transparency palette we can grab the opacity and drop it to 50%. But when you move that element and you place it over top of other elements, you'll soon discover that it's really not a tint, but rather it's something that affects the overall composition and the colors of the, um, the other elements within that composition. So that's not going to work for us. We'll bump that transparency back to 100%. How then can I create a true tint of that CMYK value? It's pretty easy actually. I have my letter H darkening sky, letter H selected here. I move over to the color palette and I can select any one of the four sliders. The key is to hold down shift and then drag the slider down to the value you desire. In this case I think we need to come in around 38 for it to be a 50% value, 38. I'm going to create a new swatch and label it appropriately. appropriately. I'll drag it into my color group. Now you'll see that it doesn't affect the artwork beneath. This is not a transparency trick but a true color tint. Hope that helps.